Hello friends, welcome to our next video. My name is Braylon and today I'm going to be showing you how to import a CSV or Excel file into Notion and then also how to transfer data between databases in Notion so that when you import a file, for example, we are going to be using a people database. Let's say you have a list of event RSVPs from your Eventbrite or something like that. You download, you want to put it into Notion and then move it into your people database. We're going to be showing you how to do that today. I am going to start with importing a CSV. If you do not need to do that, you can go ahead and jump to part two where I will show you how to take a database that exists in Notion and move the entries to another database in Notion. Okay, let's jump right in. Okay, first thing we are going to do is import our CSV file. And if you've never done this before, it's actually a pretty strange way to do it. It's not very intuitive. You're going to go on your sidebar here and find the settings icon. Once you do that, you are going to find this import import option here, we're going to select CSV. Now I'm going to choose my CSV file here and you can also drag and drop it if you would like and it's going to import. Now you will see that this has just imported to its own page, which can be really annoying. And this is just a sample data set, by the way, that I downloaded offline, but it's going to create its own page. And so you may want to drag that to a different page. For now, I'm just going to keep this here because I'm actually going to be moving all of these entries into my other database here that I have in my sample page. Now that is all you need to do in order to import the CSV. I do this with my bank transactions every month and I just have them all on a single page. I just drag and drop it to the page that that I want them to live on, I rename it. But if you want the data to be in another database that you already have in Notion, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. The first important thing to note is that when you move these entries from the current database they are in to your new database, it is going to copy over every single property. If there are any of these properties that you do not need, it is a lot easier to just delete them before you move them over. This way you do not have to have duplicates or anything like that. So I'm going to go through and just delete some of these that I don't need. Now, in order to move these from the current database they are in to my sample people database, we are first going to multi-select the whole group. You can do this by hovering over the top left. You should see this appear. Clicking that is going to select a lot at one time. And in order to move them, you're going to click the three dots over here, select move to. This will pop up a search where you can either see it if it's in your recent pages or you can search for the name of the database. You'll just want to make sure that you are selecting the correct database. Choose the database that you want them to go to. Ba Boom. Now if we come over here, they should all be here. And it's as easy as that. This also works for things like moving resources between one database to another. If you have something that starts off as a task and you later actually would like to keep it as a resource, you can move it that way as well. It's a really nice way to just move stuff between the databases without having to do it manually or like type everybody in by hand. Hopefully that was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you would like more hands-on help with Notion, come and join us in Discord. I have an ADHD Notion community where a ton of what we do is share and talk about Notion. Okay, until next time. Bye friends.